Hello and welcome to HD Global News. As you all know, through the PeaceLink platform, True Mother presided over the main event, commemorating True Parents' birthday and the 8th anniversary of Foundation Day, which attracted a global audience of citizens from 194 countries. This week, we will highlight a special feature of the official launch of the Heavily Unified Korea 2022 Providence, so that even from a distance, you can support and take part in it. The thousands of years of human history have been marked by wars for supremacy, by violent confrontations, and by religious and ideological conflicts. True parents have stated that humanity must break away from this history of sadness and reveal that the era of a heavenly civilization where we serve and attend God has now arrived. Since the reunification of the providential homeland is the only way to achieve a world of lasting peace, Risking their lives, true parents traveled to North Korea on December 6, 1991. They walked a path of true love for God, and their visit to North Korea was not just a meeting between anti-communists and communists, but a meeting between brothers and sisters, which opened the door to a historic exchange between the North and the South. This year marks the 30th anniversary of true parents' peace visit to North Korea. On the foundation of the restoration of nations, religious groups and a continent, True Mother proclaimed the era of the establishment of Chonilguk. She then gathered all the fortune of this great victory and launched a new cause for the realization of a heavily unified Korea by 2022. <laughs> 이 민족을 신 통일 한국 하늘 부모님이 직접 주관하시는 하나님의 조국으로 세우는 데 있어서 최선을 다하는 방향으로 할 것입니다. Following True Mother's instructions, the Hyojung Academy developed the theory for a heavenly unified Korea an approach to solving issues on the Korean Peninsula centered on Kodism. On this foundation, this vision will be shared with the Korean public in an educational program throughout the year 2021. At the same time, the 2022 think tank will begin its activities with 2022 leading experts from around the world. They will prepare solutions and develop policies in accordance with the words of true parents for the safe settlement of a united Korea. And from August this year, a series of five great rallies of hope for the realization of a heavenly unified Korea will be held. Through this, the mother of peace, who wipes away the tears of humanity, will also be recognized throughout the world as the mother of unification. Han Min Jogun. 하늘이 선택한 민족이라 하였습니다. 그러나 남북이 하나 되지 못한 자리에서 신 통일 한국의 꿈을 꾸고 있습니다. 그 꿈은 반드시 이루어집니다. In Côte d'Ivoire, where heavenly tribal messiahs are stepping up their activities to become Chombo families, a blessing ceremony for seven pastoral couples took place in the town of Abenguru. This was followed by a large Sunday service attended by over 500 Christians, who congratulated the newly blessed couples. 
These blessed couples began a 40-day separation period and committed themselves to making their church members blessed couples. In South America, the fifth rally of hope was broadcasted by public and private television stations in 12 countries, including Guyana, Ecuador, Paraguay, and Bolivia. It attracted more than 20 million viewers, including important personalities who gave inspiring testimonies. In addition, 300 church leaders in South America began a 100-day course with the goal of restoring 43 families, while 1,200 members engaged in tribal messiah activities to become Chombo families. All these actions are part of a devotional requirement for the victory of the second canon cosmic course. In Zambia, more than 200 members from eight countries attended the special Hyojon Chonbo seminar. Blessed members and families experienced the grace of liberation and the blessing of their ancestors as they mobilized the good spiritual world for the restoration of one-third of humanity. In 2019, UPF Korea celebrated the 100th anniversary of the March 1st independence movement and they promoted the movement that was founded on the loyal spirit of the heroine Yu Gwon Soon across the country. This year, it hosted a similar event in Gapyeong County. In his message, the director of Gapyeong Cultural Center recalled the history of the independence movement in the country and called on all ambassadors for peace to work together to preserve the spirit that started the movement. All participants pledged to be inspired by the spirit and love for God, for humanity, and contribute to the realization of a heavily unified Korea. In addition, VIPs and local elected officials from Kangwon and Chunnam provinces visited the HJ Chonwon complex as part of a workshop to form the Think Tank 2022 pool of experts. Ambassadors for Peace and Association of Patriots, UPF and the Family Federation have launched a special 40-day campaign to mobilize 800,000 peacemakers who would work for the reunification of Korea. We call on you all to participate massively in this peace movement, which is part of Trippen's vision for a heavily unified Korea. In the region of Heavenly Africa, an IAPD webinar was held online and saw the participation of African interreligious leaders under the theme, The Role of Religious and Spiritual Leaders Towards Peace and Security in Africa. Participants hope to inherit through parents' leadership as they have been working with the heart of a parent towards humanity. UPF Malaysia hosted the Peace Talk webinar series to launch IAPD Malaysia. Around 250 participants from 15 nations attended the virtual program. WFWP leaders in Korea, Japan and America held the first sisterhood meeting for the peaceful unification between South and North Korea. In America, WFWP's Global Women Peace Network began the year with the new speaker series on women's leadership in reconciliation and peacemaking to continue providing hope, empowerment and education in these challenging times. In Brazil, the WFWP, with the support of the Church of Santo Amaro, participated in volunteer work to plant trees and protect the environment. Under the leadership of Mayor Bonu, an evening of peace was launched, and the participants were educated on True Parents' vision and words, opening the stage for cooperation and solidarity among women leaders. To kickstart 2021, IYSP Samoa conducted several peace projects to give back to the Samoan community. After school, martial arts classes were held for the village children as a free service to discipline their mind and body, as well as cultivate good character through Tongil Mudu. Many parents and members of the community were inspired to see young people doing activities for others. 
the Chon Won Sa Publishing House, whose mission is to share Tripurin's words of love and life with the general public, celebrated its 60th anniversary. Cheated after Tripurin's holy wedding, and for the 60 years, it has made a great contribution to the providence with the publication of 1,700 books and the compilation of Tripurin's words in countless volumes. Mr. Lee Gyeong Hyun, director of Chon Won Sa, reported on the publishing house new projects, including the Chon Bo E Library and other innovations to further promote Tripurin's words. He delivered a commemorative speech that they would become a prestigious company recognized by the world as they prepared to publish the three great textbooks and create books for the general public. Please give your support and attention to Chon Won Sa Publishing House, which will continue the legacy of Tripurin's. A special service was held in Heavenly Japan to mark the 10th anniversary of the Great East Japan earthquake which killed more than 20,000 people in 2011. Participants shared through mother's words of comfort and love, which she gave at the news of the recent Fukushima earthquake. The ceremony was held at 2.46 a.m. at the time when the Great East Japan earthquake struck and Reverend Pang sang prayed in tears as participants hoped to bring new life to all by fulfilling their mission as heavenly tribal messiahs. Through parents awakened us to the fact that we were originally all meant to be brothers and sisters, despite religious and ideological iron curtains that have separated us. God prepared Korea for the birth of true parents. It is not just another country, but the providential country. Therefore, we should all serve God and become heavenly treasures joyfully contributing to the establishment of a heavily unified Korea. This is where we end today's news. Thank you for tuning in and may God bless you.